Hey, so on today's video, we're going to do a similar video that I just did talking about my favorite pots for iced lattes. And a ton of you guys told me that you wanted to see a coffee pod version. So not double espresso pods, but the bigger ones like these. So this is what we're going to talk about today. We're not talking iced latte. We're talking iced coffee. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. Okay, something I should mention with these pods they brew with more water, obviously, so you have to keep in mind if you brew them over ice, they do work in my opinion, but you have to take certain steps to get it to taste good. So I'm going to talk about two things that I think you need, maybe three, but for sure two. First off is I actually did a video, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. And in the video, I actually like didn't say that you completely need it unless you have these pods for these pods then for sure you're gonna need this and this is the hyper chiller and like i said it's cracking because i have it out you can get this on amazon i'll link it down below for you guys what this does is it cools your coffee instantly so that you don't have to have watered down coffee and i feel like if you don't do this step or these steps with capsules or pods like these they take they tend to taste watery because they start off with a lot more water and then you're adding ice so you're going to water it down too much hyper chiller solves that problem there's like two containers in here so you're encasing your coffee with um with ice a lot of people either like think it's too finicky or it's not worth the money i think it is a few of you have told me you just let your coffee cool but sometimes you just want iced coffee now and like if i want it now i'm gonna put it in here and i don't have to wait for it to cool so that's the cheaper version right like the free version just let it cool we have to wait and then put ice over it but this is what i do i just instant gratification and this is the hyper chiller something else a little more cost effective is reusable ice i've actually just started using it and i like the fact that they look super real like to me they look like real ice when you have them in your um in your drink and they work similar to the hyper chiller but this stays in your drink obviously the only drawback with this is that it takes a good minute um, and then like kind of moving your straw around to get the coffee to get cold but when it does it gets cold and it's still a little quicker than waiting for your coffee to cool off because you have this so this is a little bit less expensive than the hyper chiller and either way i think you'd be set with both this stays in your drink like i said and it doesn't water your drink at all the hyper chiller doesn't water your drink at all and then you can enjoy your coffee pods to the fullest and so having said that the reason why i said that maybe you need three things and now you guys probably have something like this especially if you guys do like cocktails at home what i tend to do if i don't want to wait too long i'll put the reusable ice into the shaker with the coffee that i'm gonna you know expect to be cold and then i just shake it and pour it back into my cup and it usually is ready to go nice and cold and not watered down <laughs> so this is another thing this is a really fancy one you don't really need this i have another plastic one also that i'll link down below for you guys i like them both um let me show you guys i have it right here so this is another one that i have and i like it it's clear this one is acrylic plasticky one and the other one's made out of glass but both of them work you throw in your reusable ice your coffee shake it up and then you're good to go and pour it with whatever like milk or creamer you want so i'm gonna talk about the pods now so i have a total of seven that i like for iced coffee but i don't have one right now like right now right now but i'll i'll talk about it when i get there so the first one is the hazelino and a lot of these are from the barista creations and these are meant for milk so milk or creamer whatever you you like this is hazelino it's a really nice hazelnut pod i taste the hazelnut a few of you guys have said that you guys really can't taste it but i do and i think it helps to pair the pod along with its corresponding syrup i mean it's it's simple and it's not creative but i like it if i'm obviously getting a hazelnut muffin pod then i'm looking for a hazelnut flavor so adding hazelnut syrup is really not that big of a deal with this one i've been loving the hazelnut pod from pink house alchemy it's a really nice flavor it's small batch simple syrup so i feel like the flavor is there and i feel like it really pairs well with the hazelino muffin so this is really good over ice i'm just gonna get this one out of the way because i literally just did a whole video on this one and this is the tropical coconut flavor over ice which by the way 
if you have this one and you don't like it and you're stuck with it try it hot if you like hot coffee it's awesome hot even the original lime ones really nice hot but this is supposed to be over ice and the same way use the reusable ice the hyper chiller it doesn't water it down and it's a very light tasting pot so it's not gonna be super caffeiney but if you want just some light caffeine refreshing thing in the summer that's what this pot is i think a lot of people um were maybe expecting a strong strong coffee taste and it's a very it's a tropical coconutty pot so the fact that they kept it light was appropriate if you want a little bit like of a stronger coffee taste and i think definitely the original line capsules is where it's at with the coconut pod but this one is really nice and refreshing i've done this one so many ways i've done it with pineapple syrup i've done it with like coconut milk just so many ways that i've done it if i have a few reels i'll put them on the side for you guys because i'm always like just experimenting with combos on instagram so yeah this one is really nice a few of my friends really like this one with vanilla creamer everyone i've talked to likes it with vanilla creamer so if that's your thing then go right ahead with vanilla creamer i like it with this and i hate to mention this a few of you guys have told me that you cannot find it i found it on uh, amazon fresh that's where i got it from but somebody else also told me that if you have like a kroger based supermarket then you might be able to find it there or even those tiny little supermarkets around your area might surprise you and have it so this is the chobani coffee uh, creamer flip edition almond chocolate and um coconut flavor so these pair really nice with this pot okay, so the next pot is this one this is chocolate fudge i always mistake it with chocolate truffle from the original line which is pretty much the same but chocolate fudge is really really nice i just discovered that chocolate fudge pairs well with cinnamon bun the syrup from monet for some reason this pot it's not my like my favorite because it has like a slight aftertaste that i just couldn't figure out but for some reason when i paired it with the cinnamon bun syrup this syrup like just knocks that aftertaste away i don't know if it's the cinnamon but it pairs really nicely with this pot and so i've been enjoying it that way if you are a chocolate lover you could even mix this with the almond chocolate like milk that they have and you're gonna have like a chocolatey caffeiney drink and it's really nice okay the next one i have to mention it because i've made so many reels testing this out hot and i just cannot get with it and i think it's because it's like super super bitter and just really really strong in my opinion it's the bianco forte it's made for milk so it's part of their barista creations uh line a ton of you guys asked me and even like begged me to try this iced and you guys were right i haven't tried it with brown sugar a lot of you guys have told me that brown sugar really like sweetens it up and cuts the bitterness away i haven't tried it that way but i've definitely tried it iced with a little bit of creamer and it's been great i've used the international delight caramel creamer and that one was good and i've also used the chobani sweet cream and that one was good iced but i don't like it hot at all this over ice is a dream you guys have to try it if you guys haven't been enjoying it like i have um try it iced i think you guys would like it the next pod that i wanted to talk about is the half calf this one obviously the name says it all it's half caffeinated so you're gonna get a little bit of caffeine but not your normal amount that you would get out of like a normal coffee pot size so this one again it's called caf half caffeinado caffeinado whatever you call it and this one is just so so good you would think that because it doesn't have as much caffeine that it wouldn't be tasty but it is it has caramel notes in it and i think that's why i like it but it's so velvety smooth and creamy i just have to mention it i've tried it over ice using the hyper chiller and it is really really good you could put a creamer you could put your favorite syrup honestly this kind of pot or whatever syrup you use i think you would enjoy it it's definitely worth mentioning it's one of my top pods whether it's in the morning noon at night i like it the fact that it's a half calf it doesn't really bother me and i feel like it's pretty tasty as far as like caffeine flavor even though it's a half calf so definitely worth the try i think you won't be disappointed with this one and last but not least caramel cookie one of my favorites actually not last i have two more to talk about that i don't have but caramel cookie is 
probably my number one i would have to say out of the coffee size pads this is probably my number one and i always pair it with caramel anything sometimes i'll mix a little bit of french vanilla and it's perfection it's a buttery caramelly pad and that's why it's called caramel cookie I don't know how they do it, but it is, in my opinion, really good. And I like it hot, I like it iced, but it is so, so good. It's definitely my number one if I had to choose. I definitely pair it with anything caramel. So if you have salted caramel, regular caramel, or whatever kind of caramel, I think you guys would like the caramel cookie pod. Um, this one right here is just the Monin salted caramel. I like to keep them in these little containers because they just look cute and dainty. So yeah, that's what it is. Have you guys ever see me using this? salted caramel most of the time and yeah this combo super good and i do use mainly oat milk sometimes almond milk but with these pods oat milk i think is the way to go if you guys haven't tried it try it i use right now i've been using the silk oat milk zero sugar because it allows me just to be a little bit more free with the syrup so i like that it has zero sugar it's not as creamy as the full fat like all the way sugar but it's creamier than almond milk and I like it. All right, I don't have them with me and honestly it's because I haven't repurchased one of them and the other one I just went by so fast. So the one that I finished really fast is the vanilla, the vanilla one. So it's from the Barista series as well. It's just a little bit more white. I'll put a picture on the side. It's the vanilla flavor. And that one pairs so well with this sauce, this sauce, this syrup right here. This is the Pink House Alchemy Vanilla Bean so good it is super different from the monin french vanilla like it's so different in my opinion um i think they're both worth trying they both pair well with that vanilla pod but this one it just makes it taste like ice cream and it's iced coffee so i think it's a really good pairing if you guys haven't tried it definitely give that a shot definitely give the vanilla pod a try iced i thought i had it but last but not least uh ice forte it's good I have to mention it just because it's iced coffee and that's an iced coffee capsule but it's not my favorite but it's not bad that pod it's supposed to be like peppery roasted like bold it's almost kind of like bianco forte but less intense if that makes any sense so if you don't want to try bianco forte then you might like ice forte and that one is technically made for ice i don't know the science behind that one but i have tried it and i don't hate it not as much as i hated bianco forte hot so that says a lot and i think it's worth the shot that one you can pair it with vanilla you can pair it with caramel i've even done it with pistachio sa uh, syrup and like other sauces or why do i keep saying sauces and other syrups and i think they all they all worked pretty well, but I just like some of the flavors in the other pods compared to Ice Forte. And so those are my favorite pods for ice. Like I said, these pods brew with more water. So just keep in mind, if you're going to use regular ice, you might not like them. You have to use either the hyper chiller or reusable ice or just let them cool down all the way before you add ice. And I think you would have a much better experience with these. So having said that, I'm going to brew one. I don't know which one I'm going to do because it is definitely iced coffee time right now. It's 2 o'clock. I wish I had the vanilla one because I'm kind of craving the vanilla bean syrup. But I think I'm going to do... I'm going to surprise you guys and I'm going to do Bianco Forte. Because I've talked so much like negativity about this one that I'm just going to show you guys that it is actually really good ice. So... I'm gonna show you guys how I like it. Actually, I ran out of the creamer that I tend to use it with, so I'm gonna have to experiment. Um, but either way, for some reason, it's just better ice. So let's get brewing. So I shook it up in the shaker, as you guys saw, and then Look at what shaking does. Like I, you already get a crema, but the shaking gives you a nice little like foam on top. So I'm gonna pour the whole thing into my cup. And I said creamer, but I'm gonna do, all right, let's do creamer. Let me see what I have. I'm gonna do the Chobani sweet cream creamer just a little bit. And then we're gonna mix it up. Get my straw. yum i'm gonna add i'm gonna add a little bit more 
I don't know what it is with Bianco Forte, honestly. I don't know. But it does taste better over ice. These ice cubes get the cup real cold. <sighs> Yummy. So there you have it. As long as you guys have your reusable ice, hypertruder, or let it cool down, I think any of these pots would be top notch over ice. So let me know what your favorite coffee size capsule is because there's a lot of them and i just mentioned a few so what is your favorite how do you like manage to do these over ice like do you do something different than i do just to get them to taste really good over ice or do you guys do something similar to what i do and i think that is it for today's video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye